Oh, oh my god. <laughs> the bugs are freaking mad tonight. It's brutal. And we're just pulling back up to the uh, horseshoe camp. I seem to be awoken every morning by either the sound of flatulence or the smell of bacon. Bacon was definitely preferred over flatulence. So uh, Wayne was our chef for every morning, cooking up a wonderful breakfast. And then it was a matter of getting on with the day. And today I really felt like was the day I was going to catch a fish. Uh, the weather was fantastic, as you can see. A lot of pollen on top of the lake. It was so still, it's going to be a hot day. But today, I just felt like today was the day. Anyway, I'm just very quickly going to show you a quick drone shot of that pollen, uh, which is settled on the lake to give you a look as to what it looks like. Uh, it, shame I couldn't get the drone up a little bit earlier because it did look really, really nice. Uh, so anyway, let's crack on with today's video. What a gorgeous morning. It's meant to be hot and sunny and thundery. So, uh, try and catch a fish today. Try, try. They've already left. They've headed south. I'll go and try and catch up with them very shortly. It's early yet. It's, it's only eight o'clock, so it's really quiet here. Many of the boats are still here. Like pollen all over the water here. But what the fuck is that? That's a huge spider. Oh my God. <laughs> huge bugger. <laughs> All right, we're heading out that way. The bridge ahead of me is too low. So uh, I'm gonna hold it. I went under it last time and I fucking nearly broke my rod. So uh, let's go under it now, you'll see. Here we go. We're under the bridge. The bridge is like seven feet, and that's it. Duck! Alright, now I can put it back. Snagged. Snagfish. Snagfish. What are you eating? Chewing gum. <laughs> you can't eat that. Well, I am. I'm actually sticking on the end of my hook in a minute. <laughs> Try that out. Yep, yep. Oh, a little snacker. Yeah, I already caught him. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, like a, Hello. Just a little fish, this one. Okay. I finally caught a fish. It only took what? Two, three, 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 48 three. hours. 48 hours and I got one. I mean, it was about I mean, this big. The old count, they're, they're still ripping on me. It turns out that fishing is like waiting for a bus. You wait an hour for one, then suddenly three show up at once. Apparently when you catch a pike, when you release it, you have to try and get it going again by moving it backwards and forwards like this. Learn something new every day. Got a pike. 
there's a pike. Oh my god, that's slimy. Oh, oh come on, let go, let go, come on, you little bugger. We gave up fish in there. Um, he just went, he just died off all of a sudden. I got three there. It wasn't too bad. So, hey, look at that. Sun's now going down. We've got an hour of daylight left. And uh, the lake looks like glass right now. Beautiful skyline. We're going to be heading south now. We've got the bait for the day. Um, it's weird because we're heading south, uh, but the river current runs north. So you kind of thought when you're riding down here, you're going with the current, but you're not. The current's actually coming the opposite way, which is really, really weird. I think the only other river I know that runs from uh, south to north, at the top of my head, is the Niagara River. So anyway, heading south, uh, doing about 40 kilometers an hour. It's going to take us about half an hour. So I'll uh, see you when we get down there. The journey down to the uh, far end of Lake Mistinicon is about uh, 20 kilometers. Uh, but I was in eco mode most of the way because we've got conserved gas. So uh, this is a route we took all the way down and it's to a place what they call the chute, which is where the water from the other rivers actually flows into the lake. And now it's time to fish again.
Oh, you uh, The one that got away. <sighs> Snack size pickerel. And that size. 10 inches. Look at this booty. Bass, right? Yeah. Look at that. It's a nice size. Yeah, I know it's a bass right. now, so no, no laughing. I'm, no laughing. I'm the novice here, right? right? Remember that, I'm the novice. Hey, Nigel. Ready, ready, we can go get our minnow pail. <laughs> Their minnow pail has disappeared. <laughs> oh, the sea dew comes in handy now. Well, fucking A. <laughs> I charge $10 for, for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your minnows are trying to escape. <laughs> As you can gather, yes, I can fish off the Sea Dew GTX quite comfortably. And secondly, it's very good for rescuing things that people lose on their boats, like I just did here by rescuing this pail of minnows. Now the minnows have been uh, safely returned to its rightful yeah, it owner, it was time to get back to fishing. Yep. Oh, you f***er. Oh, he was huge. A pickerel. A pickerel. F***, you shitted my worm. <laughs> Oh, you uh, Pretty quickly, got a bass already. He's better looking than the last ones we had yesterday. Yeah. And I got it out of his throat. I'm learning. Yeah. After a spot of lunch, we went back out once again, but this time we stayed a bit closer to the, re, uh, the camp. And uh, things got a little bit more boring, and a lot more bugs appeared over the next few hours. Well, you'll know, you'll know it if uh, somebody catches them because they'll have fucking bugs stuck in his face. Horrible! I caught a disabled fish. How much cellophane would I need to wrap you up on the kill table? Oh. It wasn't just fishing that was keeping me highly entertained. There was a bald eagle on the island. And I was trying desperately to get out there and find any way possible to get a better look of it. Uh, this is a view I got from my camera as I zoomed in. You can just see him right in the middle uh, feasting. And I thought, you know what? I'll try and get the drone up there as quick as I can. And this is what happened when I put the drone up. Unfortunately, there's no audio with the drone, but this is basically what happened. I uh, flew the drone over. And uh, but at this time, the uh, eagle had gone back into the trees. And uh, I, I thought when the eagle saw the drone, it was coming for the drone. And I basically just crapped myself and uh, turned around and brought the drone back. Here we go. There's the eagle in the tree right now. There he is. And any second now, there we go. And I panic. And that was the closest shot I got the eagle. <laughs> How embarrassing was that? Oh, I didn't want to lose a drone. Because things were going to get worse after this. As it happens, this was the last shot I had from the drone. Meanwhile, back in the cottage, it was getting degrees. hot, there was no breeze, and the bugs were out. Yeah. And we're on the water. So we've got a little bit cooler, but it's just the heat in here. It's like there's no cross breeze.
It's not a good night last night. I had a little misfortune out here at 10.30 last night and now I'm the laugh at everyone's expense. I seem to have dropped my cell phone down here. My cell phone is underneath there in about six feet of water and it's freezing. So I'm gonna try and find a way of getting it. We figured out pretty quickly it's about seven to eight feet of depth there. So uh, we used an extended fishnet pole and we tried that first. Please find when he leans over, kick him in. <laughs> All right, just cover the wood. Oh wait, I hear it ringing. <laughs> I can hear a TikTok video. <laughs> Is that one? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. You're not a plumber, are you? Nope. <laughs> the net didn't work, so Steve went and grabbed a magnet from the camp and we gave that a shot. Now we're all lined up having a go. Entertainment. Well, that didn't work, so what's next? Tell you what, let's try one of these little snake line cameras. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find my phone! Well, it's inevitable that I'm going to have to take the plunge, so I best get myself psyched up, get ready, and dive right in there. Oh, kind of lower that myself. Really hey, that really hot chick says you'll bang you if you go in the water and get her, and get her phone. <laughs> oh, Nigel! <laughs> I'll bang you like an old drum! <laughs> Oh, by the way, the water's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it still has ice on it exactly three weeks earlier. I can't see that shit! Easy light. Don. You can do it, bud. You can do it. It is pitch black down there. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That was leaking. That was, that didn't really help. <laughs> Actually, I might be alright if I try again now because I just think the shock might be over. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're cold now. I mean, just getting over the initial burn. Like, how bad do you want Were this simple? Are you standing card? on the bottom? No, uh, I don't think so. How do you feel, Greg? <laughs> I can see the bottom. It's not here. So it's here. <laughs> so I had no luck down there. Uh, it's cold. It was really cold the first bit. I went in two more times. It's pitch black and I panicked a little bit. So Wayne, who's an experienced diver, I've had to bribe him a little bit, so he's getting himself psyched, psyched up and he's going to go in and see what he can do. Oh, man, all this for a phone. Just feel better if I got it back though. Yeah. So we're saying it's about seven feet there. Seven? Yeah. You want the flashlight? Yeah. Flashlight. Now it's time for Wayne to lower himself into the water. And now people have stopped laughing. I think people realized how cold it really was and how dark it was down there. So uh, yeah, Wayne's in the water now. Uh, got himself, get himself psyched up because it is cold. You gotta get used to the water. I'd already been in there a few minutes before I actually went under. So uh, Wayne's just gonna have to go through the whole process himself. Just get his body adjusted to the cold water. And uh, down he goes. Oh, 
Wayne tried for about five minutes, and then we were left with only one last option. This. Not so it's not propane? Good luck. Hope it works. Oh, he's come back up. underneath us. Disorientated. The bang on the dock or something, so I know where I am. Okay. Oh that yeah. Because I just lost where yeah, I was. <laughs> so obviously. I'm Best man, you're a pain. Yeah. <laughs> Even a dog came to celebrate. Good one, guys. Here, oh. I got a phone back. I'm gonna even try and turn it on for a few days. Just got back, and Ian has dropped off a bag of rice. Oh my god, the guys at Horseshoe Island Camp have just been perfect, amazing. Hot shower for you, mate. Oh, yeah. Alright, that is the foam that was in the lake for 12 hours. I uh, plugged it in. It's been in, been in rice for 24 uh, last 24 hours. Plugged it in. Surprisingly, after about 20 seconds, it lit up like it's charging because it's zero battery. I, was, I remembered actually when I dropped it in the water, there's only 20% battery life left. So it's charging. I'm, I'm going to ignore it for a while. And uh, fingers crossed, <laughs> I might have a phone working still. While we wait to find out what happened to the phone, whether it works or not, let's get back out on the water and do a little bit more fishing. All right, here we are back for a Thursday night fish. Oh, there goes the alarm. A couple of guys already down here. They're pretty big. Oh, we're getting minnows now. <laughs> Oh, you don't like me having worms? No mm. better leeches. No, no worms left? No. Oh, I thought you were joking. Yep. Stick them in the box. 15. I got no water in my box. Put them in your box. Oh, you got a live well. Fuck me. Oh, we're a little bitch now. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're a beauty. So I finally got a keeper at long last. So it took all week. Uh, 
15 inch bass so uh, not bad so the guys in the boat next to me are just a little pissed off because uh, tonight I've suddenly started catching fish I've caught more fish in the last 15 minutes I've done all bloody week mm -hmm. how many fish have you caught just now this tonight tonight I think I caught about like 10 earlier no, tonight. <laughs> but, I, I know Greg caught a Christmas tree. Are we talking tonight under the criminal code? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Let me have my moment of fame. <laughs> In a world where fish jump around. I'm not having a bad uh, Thursday, actually. A small rocky, but uh, I seem to be out fishing the other two guys here. It's called the shit bass. The shit bass, poor thing. All right, then he goes. The bugs are freaking mad tonight. It's brutal. Why do people fish in this kind of thing? What's wrong with you fishing people? Fish? I'm catching like a million bites on my hand. <laughs> oh, there's got another one. Rocky. Rocky. Now, still got used to picking up the slimy shit on these things yet. So, look. To my wuss. <laughs> All right. He's Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> After a very successful evening of fishing, it was time to head back as it was getting dark very, very quickly. Uh, this is the first time I've actually been out on the water this late and having to use my uh, navigational lights, which are an aftermarket, which I bought on Amazon. And I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, but as you can tell, uh, they were pretty bright and uh, they did the job really, really well. Well, there's not much to see, is there? It's pretty dark. There's a little bit of light left in the sky. It's 10 past 11. Sorry, 10 past 10. It's 10 past 10, not 10 past 11. And we're just pulling back up to the uh, Horseshoe Camp Island Resort, whatever. Horseshoe Island Camp. Okay, everybody, moment of truth. It's time to find out whether or not my cell phone survived 14 hours in 8 feet of water. Let's find out. Sorry for the blur, the autofocus was off, I completely forgot about it. But hey, it covers my information up. Well, there is two connections. Oh, it's got rice in that one. I don't know how to get that out. Oh, that's just my case. Okay, that's not the phone. Okay, it's a good start. 14 hours in the bottom of the lake. Eight feet of water. Eight, and it's powering up. That's a really good sign. Ta -da, ta -da. It appears <laughs> that my phone, oops, my phone still works. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to professional scuba divers. <laughs> oh, look at all the comments I got from when I lost my phone. <laughs> wow. Oh, I kind of mentioned it today. MUFC crew. Oh, yeah. Oh, so. I'm like, don't bother, uh, don't bother texting Nigel. His <laughs> phone's at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> so, Samsung, after eight hours, uh, 14 hours in the water, uh, still works. Amazing. All right, home time, Saturday morning. Everything's on the dock. They're waiting for the pontoon boat to come, which is like 45 minutes. I'm going to head out on the sea do and get it loaded onto the truck ready. And then we can get away as quick as we can because we've got eight hours of driving ahead of us. All right, goodbye, cottage. Nice little place. Enjoyed it. Time to move on home.
Right, there she is. She's out of the water. That is it for another trip, another adventure. A big thank you uh, to the people here at Horseshoe. Uh, been a great time, uh, great host. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the big question is, can I fish off my Sea Dew GTX? And the answer is yes. Really is a yes. If you're really serious about fishing, though, really, really looking to get in the Sea Dew uh, Fish Pro lineup. Uh, definitely looking to one of them if you're an avid fisher. If you just want to do uh, more adventure and occasional fishing, the GTX is absolutely fine to do it with. It really is. Uh, but if you want to go the next level, get a Fish Pro.